My name is Michel Huet. I'm the National Finishing Application Manager for Certainty. I prepare a basic video on NOCO Pro Machine. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Hello. NOCO Pro Machine. When you receive your machine, first have with your machine an uh, extra instruction manual and also the remote. You have the machine with the carrying handle and the machine weight about 42 pounds. So easy to carry. Suggest you place your machine on a baker, a four feet baker. Place it at the end of the baker. So the box I will use will be in contact very easily with the machine. You have uh, part of the machine is the arm, the spindle arm, the spindle, spindle axis to put your uh, box, 250 feet no code pro box on it. You have, if I open this window, you can see where your box will be in contact. You're gonna pass the tape on under that spindle here. You're gonna pass the tape here. The, this wheel, the black wheel, will be in the middle of the tape. Here we have the feed knob that we will turn until the tape touch the blade. And here we have the feed release. So this way I can pull back the tape or I can move the tape both way. So never pull, never pull the tape back. If you don't push the, uh, the, the, the release feed first. If we plug the machine, and a power cord, short one, we have on off button. And uh, I forgot, always put your strap, security strap, so the machine won't fall down when you move all around your job site. Control panel, I will come back to all this. Control panel, you have the folder. There's uh, the folder, folder can be positioned on outside corner or inside corner. If you, you wanna remove the folder because you need to clean it or something, you just Place your guide screw, just so I can see it, right here. You see your guide screw, You. the trick is you don't move both way, you stay with the guide because all those screw here has to pass through that knob here. So, I'm gonna put it back, the guide, push all the way in. At the other end also, I have to push inside that screw and ready to go for outside corner. You have the pan here, so you can recuperate all your mud. We have nice hopper here with tapered feet that goes on those holes. Two positions. Outside position, inside position. So if we're doing outside, we position outside with the folder outside. Inside, put the folder inside and the tapered feet inside. That's all for this part.
First, here you have a carrying handle when you need to carry the box. You remove this part in front. Be careful not to remove this part here. There, the reader, you have the reader on the machine and a kind of patch inside here that will be read by the machine. So don't remove this part. Remove both sides. Check if your box is not crushed and your tape is loose in the box. This, this will prevent that there will be too much resistance for the machine to pull in the tape. You have your arm spindle open like this, the spindle and the axis here. You put the box on the spindle with the axis outside. You will pass your tape under here. Place it in the middle, you have the feed knob, it will move only one way, so you turn it until it touch the blade and you're ready to go. If you need to pull back the tape or move it both sides, remember still you have to press the release knob here. So you can move it back, you can place it and you, you go like this. This is the part for the box. The window doesn't need to be open. I just open it so you can see, the, you have a better view of the tape, but it can be closed at all times. About the upper. It looks like a pill, but you want to put your ready mix in. The base of that hopper is all in stainless. You don't mix your ready mix in. The hopper has screws with the stainless base, so you don't want to break it. And then you don't want to break either that angle creaser here. The hopper has a aluminum base that you can use. It's manufactured to use with the machine with tapered feet that goes out for outside corner or inside corner. But also you have arms that you can pull and use it on another pill for manual use when you use sticks instead of the machine is the same hopper that you will use so. about the hopper it's come equipped with inlet gate exit gate you have one direction so the adjustment of this gate, it's down or up the machine. Usually the way I adjust it, I just push it at, at the end and just bring it down with not too much pressure and tight it in. Same thing about the inlet gate. Those rubber can be changed with new one, just like those here, easy to change. You just remove this assembly part, 
remove those two screw and change the rubber. Put it back in and tie it in as well. Also, about what I suggest is every one week around or two weeks, you just remove all those two gate assembly and you clean it up all the way so this will prevent having trouble but I'm gonna put it back in also I suggest uh, every one or two weeks you clean it but at the end of the day you can also put it in five inch of water so you don't have to clean it every day the ready mix for full, I suggest you use the light taping. It's a light product, but it has a lot of glue, so very good adhesion, and also it's light. So you can pull out of the machine at 12 feet, sometimes even 14 feet, one guy, and it won't break because the rhythm mix is light. And the way I mix it, Let's say for about one box, about four cups of water, depending on the viscosity at the time, but it's about it. And what you want is a ready mix that you can transfer from your pills to your upper. So you mix it in a pill, not in the upper, and you train. And if you can transfer it to your upper, this way you won't have to knock on the hopper so the rhythm is come down. It will come down by gravity. So that's about it. So you use it like that. At the end of the day, you just five inch of water, leave it like that. You're ready for the next morning. So you're going to arrive at next morning your pail, your hopper will be in a pail with five inch of water. So everything is fresh, ready to start. If you have too much water in your pail, you can leave it like that so water will drop. We will start with the machine um, on the control panel. It's very easy, uh, very simple to understand. So don't panic, it's very easy. You have the white touch. The, uh, the blue one is inch, one eighth of an inch, feet, quantity, enter and run. So there's not much. You can do your by feed and cut. So if I do feed, it will feed every time that I will push on the bottom and it will cut when I want it. So you pull your stick after you push the cup button with feet. So this way you can do dry corner and you can do also feed and cup when the hopper is on the machine. So if I be careful not to drop the hopper. So hold it by two hands because if you break the base, the standard base, and it's all crushed, it won't work, work properly. So I will put, oh, not this side, the side of what the tapered feet in the good O. So I want to do exterior corner, so I will put it here. I check if my folder is external, exterior outside corner so it is so my hopper is also good so I'm ready to start I might take my hopper with the control panel as I said I have feet cut if I want to do different corner I can do let's say we have to do uh, uh, what, what it is it was it was a uh, 90 and 5.8 so I, I will put 90 
inch, five, eight. I look to the, uh, you only have to read and, and do what it, it is written down. So edit corner or enter. So I uh, edit the corner, 90 inch, five, eight. I have one, you don't have to press if it's only one. I press enter. So I jump on this line two. If I want only to do one corner or one line, one measure, I stop there. If I want to have other length, I can add it at the, after, after them. So I have it here. I can do the run by pressing on the remote here or on the run on the machine, both the same. So if I want to do my corner, I move in front of the machine, it will come out ready with all the ready mix. If you have too much ready mix, it will be, you don't pull, uh, pull by lifting or going down, you pull straight. One guy can do 12 feet. If they're not too much ready mix, it will hold. So by the adjustment of the exit gate, it will hold. So you go on your corner, I always place the end at the top. The end is always better looking. So I don't push on the corner. So I want to keep the right angle. I want to I want to have the right angle. So I leave the roller do the job. I only will push it a few places so it will all there. Afterward. I will use the roller. I will start by the middle, going up, so it will stay up. And you, with the pressure, it's a good pressure, but equal from up, down. And after that, you do your knife. Remember, you have to press, put pressure more outside. Don't leave ready mix on the, the corner because it's a no coat, so you have no coat on the corner. So if you do it right, it will leave just a little bit space to put the sec the other coat, but not much. So, and you can do your tape before doing your corner. If you do your tape before you do your corner, you don't have to go right to the end. You stop your tape around one inch. If you're doing after you're doing your corner, you will stop. You just go on top of your paper, but stop there. I prefer, actually, I prefer doing the tape before I do the, uh, the actual corner. About the control panel of the uh, No Code Pro machine. Like I said, very easy to operate. Um, you, most of the time you just have to follow the instruction. Uh, I already covered the feed and cut. Um, second thing, uh, I just wanna say, the minimum length you can do is 28 inch. If you ever put in like 27 inch and you try to enter that length, you're gonna see an error message of 28 inch minimum length. So already you know you can do, you just have to follow. So you you stop and delete that one. You, If I say, okay, 28 inch, that is okay. You can enter it, you have one line, 28 inch, one corner. You, 
let's say you want to have uh, uh, let's say 95 inch half inch uh, half inch it's all working by 1 8 so it's for 8 let's say you want 8 of those 8 you by pressing enter you jump at the other uh, line so you can enter other measure you don't have to put like the the feet the inch after the any uh, measurement you want to enter it's okay it's fine we can start by we want eight quantity corner we want uh four uh let's say not four yeah four, we can go feet four feet five eight so you have here if you look at the screen you have four feet you don't have any inch you have four feet and five eight eight quantity so if it's okay you press enter if by you have made a mistake you can press always can press stop delete it will go back to the other lane you can change oh no it was four feet and five inch you can see four feet five inch five eight eight quantity it's okay so after you can say enter you jump at the other line let's say you want to erase everything you can you want to erase the last line press stop delete you go back you want erase that one stop delete you, you're gonna erase by by a number you just put in but if you want to erase everything stop and all the delete it will erase everything it will also tell you delete all entry so enter will delete all entry so don't be scared everything you, you, you put in you can erase them and go back to other entry so uh, you, you have those this is about the control paddle uh, also when you have many entry you can go and go look at them by pressing the line go down or up um, what I will do is uh, I re really do usually uh, the length I want but I can go to 12 feet long if I don't have if I have a good adjustment on my exit gate I can go to 12 feet or to some guys will go to 14 feet on gap what I recommend is for the inside corner if you do inside corner you, all, you always can do an inside corner with the folder that's positioned inside and also the upper is, will be with the tapered feet in the inside corner here you can also do that but I don't suggest you do more than seven or eight feet because the weight of the rhythm mix will make the corner bend if you go longer than that so what my guys will usually do is they will do all their extra corner and at the end they will do the inside corner without the upper so you put your rhythm mix on your inside corner and you apply your inside corner especially if you do like a 135 degrees inside corner do your length without hopper put your rhythm mix on the wall in the inside corner and apply and apply your uh, your corner with a knife it will do an excellent job question often asked is about how do I place my corner real straight with the laser what you usually do is 
you will place your la laser first and you will arrive with your corner and roll it at first but don't pass the knife right away place your corner this one doesn't need to to be to be uh manage so if you need to pull it you pull it before you you pass your knife because after you, your knife is done it's very really hard to move it and it won't stick properly and it maybe won't hold there but if you pull it and you pass your knife after it will stick where you leave it so just put your place your laser before roll it and look at it if it needs to go out or in you pull your pass your knife after it will stay there so as simple as that I hope this video was helpful for more information you can always call your local surgeon feed rep uh, in the next video we will go more in depth of every menu trick of the NoCo Pro machine. Thank you.